Welcome, welcome to the Rick Hills Real Estate Show, where we take a look at Arizona real estate. I don't make wild predictions about a crash coming, although you will hear me from time to time push back on some uh, YouTubers that definitely say there's a crash coming and share numbers that, quite honestly, just don't make any sense. Um, not trying to be cocky, but um, when you compare now to 2008, you need to talk about the financing that took place in 2008. And I just don't see these crashers doing that. So, man, I've got a bunch of comments flying here already. One about rent control or rent uh, price increases. And I'm going to get to that in a minute. We've only got 4,650 homes on the market once again this morning. And on the seven-day moving average, you can see the blue line is, you know, new listings that have come up the past seven days. And the red line is number of homes under contract. And it they just follow each other there is some data showing up that shows that we're starting to slow a little bit and i'm going to be getting to the rental numbers here in just a moment uh let's see we've got a couple comments on here uh how much rent can apartments increase when my lease renewal comes up i'm going to touch on that uh, i got a compliment uh thank you for for watching mendoza and mary says uh looking for uh, a home on some acres acreage with uh um, let's see what exactly would you say looking for a few acres with a home already on the land I would look at New River um, or Levine I think Levine's probably got more potential than New River New River's north of Phoenix uh, Levine's got a lot of infrastructure trying to cut being built out there right now and some new freeway systems so I'd take a peek at that Esther and Jimmy market rate is $1,000 more than what I'm currently charging our renter when their lease ends I don't feel comfortably raising that rate high for a new tenant. Any thoughts? What would you do? Uh, I'll touch on that in just a moment too. And uh, so right here, what we see in uh, Crawford Market Index, supply and demand. See that red line that's supply right there, right here? Notice how it started coming down. 100 is considered normal. Um, and then it kind of creeped back up. Now it's starting to turn back down. Our issue is not the demand because the demand hasn't been really huge. It popped up on this index to about 150 right here, but demand hasn't been staggeringly high. It's the problem with the blue line where the supply is so low. When the gap is this far or this far, this is when things go nuts. So, so here's where the market crashed because the supply index started coming down. Demand was still going up until about 2008, and then boom, everything fell apart. If we look at rent, I'll take a look at our rent numbers here in a second. So let's talk about how much can rent go up in Arizona as much as they want. We do not have rent controls. Now, California has rent control adjusted uh, right now in, in California. The most a landlord can raise rent is 5%. There is a cap. Um, but we don't have that in Arizona. So how much can they raise? They raise it to market value. So if everybody's going up 200 a month, then chances are your apartment's going to go up 200 for that month. So just kind of stay on top of it. You can kind of get an idea of how much your rent is going to go up. But if you see any new neighbors asking them what they're paying, because they'll be coming in at the new rate, and then you'll get an idea where you're at. But you can always go down to the office and go, hey, any idea what my rent's going to be like when my uh, lease is up in four months? Now, they have to give you 30 days notice that your rent is coming up. The bummer is um, if you sign up for a new lease, like for one year, you have one rate. But if you go month to month, they, it's it's through the moon because uh, they, they want would rather have a longer lease in there. Now, in times of inflation, um, I remember back in the 80s, excuse me, my eye itches like crazy. Um, back in the 80s uh, with inflation and rent coming up and up all the time uh, you were lucky if you could get a nine-month lease people only wanted to lease to you for six months so they could raise the rent again so if you got a nine-month lease you were really lucky i haven't seen that pop up lately here in arizona so but i suspect it might be coming the other thing that we're seeing too is we're seeing some massive building going on with apartments not single family homes but with apartments multi unit buildings drive around gilbert i touched on that just the other day they're everywhere and they uh the permits for multi-family houses are through the roof so that's going to shake out 
what you'll see is you'll see billboards and, and stuff that's in uh, signs on the complex a first month free uh, that's when you know that the market just got saturated with apartments so they'll have to start offering incentives for you to move in that's when you know that they've built enough and they should probably quit and then single-family housing will be behind that the demand now for single-family housing is because rent's so damn expensive it makes sense to buy uh, when that changes it might lower the uh it might give us some more inventory let, let me let me show you what's going on here. here's rent right now uh we did have a, a a youtube subscriber ask me if i could touch on uh rentals and what the prices are and here's the median list price by quarter it's uh it went from uh q3 2095 went up five dollars went up to 2100 in, in q1 <coughs> of, of this year but you can see it just took a straight shot right up now we can do a few things when we want to look at this too so let's get rid of this uh all right here and put in um single family detached homes and see what's going on and uh, you can see that their rent kind of crept down a little bit but then if you want to just take a look at uh apartments filter this out you're going to let me get rid of that x right there you can see that it's 1497 and it Q1 has started to come down a little bit. So that's an indication that there's a lot of apartments being being built. And then if you want to sort by city, uh, let's look at Gilbert here for a moment. And Gilbert is going to come in at, wow, came down to 1500 from 1823. That's amazing, isn't it? That's because there's more stuff out there. Now, Fountain Hills, I'm going to guess, is probably pretty tight and pretty high. There's not a lot out there. It's also very seasonal. So look at that. See? All the way up 2200 uh paradise valley we won't bother with that let's look at phoenix so if you're wanting to know where to get a rental um and uh and get good rent for it it's obviously going to be fountain hills um and phoenix is sitting there at 1397 queen creek say that name three times fast down and up 1496 so that gives you kind of a good look at what's going on around the valley now, if you are looking at uh, renting a place out, whether or not you own a condo or you have a home, there's some resources here for you. Oh, and Esther and Jimmy, um, yeah, you know, if you've got a good tenant, you know, you don't need to go market rate. Right? If you've got a good tenant and you like him, leave it there. My son has got a place in Tempe, and I think he's only paying $750 a month. And it's a condo that his landlord owns. And... He didn't want college students, which is almost impossible at Tempe. But since my son works at Best Buy, um, he liked, you know, having a non-college student there. And he likes that he's such a good tenant and he's paying on time. He didn't even raise his rent when they, when it came due. He called him and goes, how much is my rent going up? He goes, I ah, don't worry about it. I'm not, I'm not raising it. So <laughs> Mary says, I live in Santan Valley. Uh, that's a, that's a growing part of town. Now, Check this out. This is from Realtor.com, and this is a free resource for you if you want to manage your rentals. It's called Avail. Managing rentals just got easier. So I imagine this is uh, just go to Realtor.com and then click on the Rent tab. And you can put your listing on here, and you can uh, it'll go out on like 10 websites that advertise rentals. Uh, you can one-click listing, simple rental applications, online rent collection, online leases this is pretty slick everything's all there in one spot you don't have to ask somebody if you can get a form so that's pretty nice now we go back down to our housing market right now and i look and i see that closed sales over list price we're sitting at 47 percent but most of that at activity is still sitting in the three to four hundred thousand range with 52 percent but it changes a little bit when i switch it over to condos Let's just take a look at a condo for a moment. And condos are going for, as it's going, drum roll, please. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. 53%. And in the 250,000 to 300,000 range, 60.7%. That market is really on fire. And it's on fire because as people feel they're getting priced out of single family homes, they're going to that affordable condo price in the 250 to 300 range and the bidding wars are vicious they're absolutely vicious i had a uh, 
buyer reach out to me and um, you know I'm automatically sending him new listings that come up and he goes this one looks nice and I looked at it on Sunday online and I went to make an appointment and it was booked totally booked and the pictures were terrible there wasn't much going on there um, they they had uh, um, they said pictures coming soon they won't need the pictures that thing's probably sold uh, today if we look at single family homes now and we're back up to 47 percent are going over list price with 52 percent in the three to four hundred thousand range of which there isn't many out there and then 45 percent in the 400 to 500 thousand range so there's not a lot out there in those price ranges so the bidding wars just continue uh manny thank you for all the great information thanks glad you guys chimed in here now here's a little caution for you as we're looking at the look at the markets and that is that oil is approaching a hundred dollars a barrel why do i bring this up well if you start putting more money in your gas tank uh that's less that you're going to have to pay your mortgage so this is going to pull the market down a little bit in mortgage rates we have managed to kind of hover around the 4.08 range here i'll show you in just a moment right there and you can see that uh, it's down like 0.1 percent in times of turmoil with russia going in and, and raising a bunch of cane over in ukraine um, that adds anxiety to the markets and i would think that this rate would come down even farther as investors take a flight for safety and start going to the bond market so we'll have to watch the stock market closely it's gone down slightly mainly because there's so much upward pressure on rates you know traders know that the fed is going to start pulling back and they're going to start raising rates so there's all this upward pressure on rates but now that you've added a level of anxiety to it there's downward pressure so it's just kind of doing this and it may pop either way in the next couple of weeks so if things get really bad over there i expect you're going to see that mortgage rates are going to come down but we're going to have bigger fish to fry at that point so that's the uh that's my concern that i'm watching things going forward so we'll continue to look at the inventory numbers of what's going on in arizona i don't expect things to change i did say back in january that based on the numbers that we were looking at that real estate prices are going to go up between two and a half and three percent in february and the same in march because nothing has changed and the inventory the gap that i showed you on that first chart is still there lo and behold the february numbers are tracking at 2.5 percent and if we look at it annually we're tracking at a 29 percent increase 2022 is not slower than 2021 until that number changes march is going to be a two and a half to three percent increase in prices april's not going to be down in order for april to be down we've got to see inventory starting to shoot up now and we're not seeing any signs of it at all 4600 for a what are we at tuesday 4600 for a tuesday it's pretty low usually we're about 5000 to 5200 and then it goes down from monday to tuesday by about 300 homes and then it starts creeping up the closer you get to friday uh, but we barely got about 5000 units this last weekend so as long as that stays out there two and a half percent increases in prices so one of these days we'll have something more to report until then, take on the day and have a great week.